In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about card sorting. Card sorting is a method that you can use to understand how audiences perceive relationships in your content for your website. So what you're gonna do is you're going to uh, come up with a list of content that you wanna put on your site. This can be content that you already have, content that you think your website needs, and even uh, sort of general ideas about content like what kind of blog posts would you wanna do in the future. And what you'll do is you'll take a note card and on each note card, you'll write one piece of content. So in this example, I'm preparing card sorting cards for a website for pet, a pet sitting business. So you'll see I'm writing just generally important pieces of content for a pet sitting business. The next step is that you will actually ask your audience members, so people who would reasonably use your site, to sort the cards. And what you'll do is you'll just say to them, um, please just sort these cards based on what you think goes together. It's a really simple uh, instruction but what they're going to do is they're going to put the cards together based on what they think goes together so you can see the relationships in how they think about the content. You'll see that the sorter in this video is tending to put all of the product stuff together, tending to put the employment stuff together, and you'll just give this card sorting task to a variety of users and you'll start to get an idea of patterns and how people think about this content. The next step is to, each time you give this task to a user, is to write down what they put together. So if they put all of the product pieces together, write that down. The other thing that you can do is have them sort the cards again, but if they put everything in, they put um, together a pile that seems to be mostly product stuff, you can have them sort just that pile. And now they're gonna sort, as you can see in this example, that product information based on what they think goes together. So it's gonna further narrow down those relationships between content. Once you've uh, sort of collected data on how people perceive these relationships, you can come up with an idea for where all this content should live on your site. So your next step is going to be to come up with a draft uh, navigation bar showing where all the different content lives based on what you learned about how people perceive these relationships.